From the National Weather Service in Raleigh, it's Nick Petro with your routine Thursday weekly briefing, and I'm just going to go ahead and change that here on the fly. <laughs> Sorry about that. So your routine Thursday weekly briefing for Central North Carolina, and this briefing covers the period <clears throat> today through next Wednesday through the 22nd of September. So um, anyway. Here's a quick look at the tropics because, um, you know, we're still in the peak of the season right now. The Atlantic is active and that's all right on schedule. So all the red hatching and yellow and there's leftovers of Nicholas. You know, that's pretty much to be expected this time of year. We're in the peak of the season. So the system there that's just off the Carolina coast, that system will stay offshore. Um, and the Hurricane Center does give it pretty decent chances, greater than 60% chance it, uh, of becoming a tropical uh, cyclone. However, uh, the main impact from that, should that become a tropical cyclone, or even if it doesn't, will be rip currents along the Carolina coast here in the next couple of days. So again, as we're headed into a weekend, uh, just once again, if you're going to the beach, or if you know somebody going to the beach, just remind folks, swim where there's lifeguards and uh, definitely uh, read up and, and check on the latest surf forecasts and know how to um, what to do um, for rip current safety. OK, and if you're not a good swimmer, the best thing to do when there's a lot of rip currents out there is just stay out of the water. All right. So anyway, um, that's the five day uh, tropical outlook. Those other systems out in the Atlantic, they're way, way out in the Atlantic. So um we got plenty of time to kind of watch those. Um, and I don't see anything in the models in the next 10 days, really, um, that, 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 you know, that appears to be something that affects us. So, um, well, but as always, we'll, we'll keep our eyes on things out there. All right. So what about the pattern? Of course, uh, starting with today in the upper left, you can see that L representing that low pressure area. You also notice a cold front. Um, and, and, you know, that cold front kind of gets mixed in with all those other colors. Let me highlight that. There it is right there. There's the cold front, right? So that cold front is going to basically move to the uh, east. And then there's another cold front moving across the northern plains and eventually the Midwest. That cold front will approach here on Saturday. You can see it crossing the uh, southern Great Lakes. And then eventually um, that system will, will also move east. And that'll allow the next big area of high pressure to uh, move toward us, okay? So I know that was a lot of drawing on the screen there, but uh, let me clear that out so you can see that better. The point is, is as these cold fronts approach, uh, we're going to have, you know, basically some you know, fairly moist air mass. It'll be seasonably warm, cold front approaching. You know, we, we, we can't rule out scattered showers and thunderstorms today and Friday that typically occur ahead of these fronts. Okay, now again, keep in mind the rainy rain that we get uh, in the next two days, and again, they'll be pretty widely scattered, uh, but any rain that we get will not be associated with that low off the coast. It's just low that, or, or I'm sorry, it's rain that would occur anyway, uh, considering the, uh, the cold front. Once we get into Saturday, and this, uh, especially over the late in the weekend, that high is really going to get strong over um, New York and Pennsylvania and no southward. So uh, by, by Sunday into Monday, we're looking at much drier uh, air mass over us. So high pressure and drier air will attempt to move south and across central North Carolina over the weekend uh, and perhaps into Monday. So that should give us uh, pretty much, you know, lower if, if a very low chances for rain and uh, much more comfortable air mass as well. And then temperatures and humidity will gradually increase during the first half of next week with <clears throat> typical summertime, widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms, not a washout, um, you know, 20% chance or less at any given location for, for seeing that rain. But in fact, high pressure will be more favorable for warm and, and mainly dry. Uh, and that'll be the case over us by the middle of next week. So all in all, the main hazard with these maps and this pattern I'm showing you right here is rip currents associated with that low passing by. I don't think this rain's going to amount to a whole lot that that we feature there today and Friday into the 
uh, into Saturday next week. That's really, really hit or miss and, and really light amounts. And really not expecting anything in terms of any dangerous thunderstorms with these. Well, let me take that back because every thunderstorm is dangerous. Why? Because every thunderstorm has lightning. So every thunderstorm by its very nature uh, as having lightning is dangerous. But aside from lightning, uh, no uh, damaging winds or large hail threat uh, is expected. Speaking of that rainfall, I did mention the rain would be pretty light. And these graphics bear that out. Look at the light shade of green. That's like not much rain at all, like trace amounts, uh, less than a tenth of an inch. Uh, and you can see today, Friday, Saturday, you know, we're pretty much dry Sunday and Monday and, and Tuesday and Wednesday next week's really hit or miss. But when we do have green over us, it's that lightest shade of green, which is a tenth inch or less. So that that's really not much at all. We're not, let's put it this way, in the next seven days, we're not going to get much rain. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, um, in this slide, the text is wrong. So I apologize for that. Uh, I'm just going to say next, not much rain the next seven days across central North Carolina. So you can watch me as I update this here on the fly. All right. So there you go. That's that's the takeaway key point for um, for this slide right here. All right. And now, obviously, you know, with not much rain, there's no risk for flash flooding. And right now, the storms, if we do get some thunderstorms, the main risk will be lightning. But other than that, no severe storms are expected uh, at this time. The 8 to 14 day outlook suggests above normal temperatures and at or below normal precip. And I think that pretty much takes us to the end of our briefing. Um, so, yeah, cold front will approach from the north and west, uh, resulting in scattered showers and thunderstorms today and Friday. Again, if we get any, it's going to be pretty light. Meanwhile, low pressure will remain offshore. High pressure, drier air will attempt to move south and across central North Carolina over the weekend, maybe hanging in there till Monday. And then finally, temps and humidity will gradually increase during the first half of next week with typical summertime isolated scattered showers and, and thunderstorms uh, each day. Most places will stay dry. So uh, again, uh, I think the, the, the better of the two days this weekend will be Sunday. I think that's the better, that's the day with better chances it'll remain dry. Again, don't forget if you're heading to the beach or if you know somebody going to the beach, watch out for those rip currents. Uh, that'll be our main weather concern in the next few days. You can see the numbers at the bottom. You know, mid 80s is probably about five degrees above normal. So, um, so, so we're 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 going to run above normal temperature wise here uh, in the next couple, you know, seven days or so. And and, and don't let the the sort of the the showery grayness of each of those panels each day uh, scare you into thinking it's going to be a washout. You'll notice the rain chances are 30 percent each day. But even if we do get any rain, it's not going to be uh, a whole lot. So um, I think the weather might be a little bit more optimistic, perhaps, than than uh, what some of those uh, graphics uh, would depict below there. Uh, look at Sunday. It looks really nice, as, do, as does Monday. So any questions? That's what I've got for today's weekly briefing for Central North Carolina at, for this Thursday, the 16th of September.